Jeff Bezos wants to see what the inside of your home looks like. So we can sell you more and more products. Amazon's just bought iRobot, the company that makes the Roomba robot vacuums. Let's get into it and let's talk about robot vacuums and which one I would recommend. So guys, first things first, please, if you really want to support, you know, YouTubers, please smash the like underneath this video. It really helps out a lot more than you know. Helps with the algorithm. Um, and click the subscribe and click the bell icon. Um, so Amazon has purchased Roomba, the company that makes Roomba, iRobot. Um, and with Roomba's maps, Amazon's vision of ambient intelligence in the smart home is suddenly attainable. Um, and so now Amazon wants to see inside your home so they could potentially sell you more stuff, right? Jeff Bezos is rubbing his hands together as we speak. Um, Alexa, tell Roomba to vacuum the front of the couch. So it looks like some poor sap here is spilled their cereal on the floor and they want the robot vacuum to go vacuum it up for them because they're too lazy to do it themselves. Well, I'll tell you what, if that was me, which it has been a couple of times, I don't need a robot vacuum for that. I have a dog that does it for free. And it doesn't complain. <laughs> Anyways, um, back onto the article. So this article comes courtesy of The Verge. Sorry, I should have said that at first. Um, so basically, um, iRobot's been... Uh, the iRobot CEO, or one of the employees, has been talking up iRobot OS, which is the, their latest operating system for their vacuums and mops. Um, and they want the robot to have a deeper understanding of understanding of your home um your habits um so it could work around you in a bit you know in without getting in the way um it seems amazon wants the irobot wants the irobot for the maps it generates to give it a deep understanding of our homes the vacuum company has detailed knowledge of your floor plans and crucially how they change it knows where your kitchen is um, which your kids rooms are where your sofa is how new it is and if you really turn the guest room into a nursery so you know I can see, you know what, I can see as a use case for this. I can see Amazon sending a notification on your phone saying, hey, that sofa's looking a little bit shabby, you know? And you're like, Amazon? How do you see this? How do you know our sofa looks shabby? Because we do. We're not going to tell you how. Well, I know why. Because they're looking through the Roomba's camera. So this brings, in, this brings into a whole, this brings, opens up a whole new debate, right? How much is too much information? How much information do you want companies like Amazon, Facebook, Google to have about the inside, what happens on the inside of your home? I mean, they already can listen in to your phone, you know, using your phone or devices with microphones, right? Smart cameras, home security cameras. They could already hear everything that's going on. And have you ever had that where you've been talking to your spouse or your partner or your friend about something that you're interested in? And then conveniently, a couple of hours later or right away, you start getting fed ads for the product that you were talking about. Hmm, it's happened to me a few times. And I wonder why. Could it be because they're listening to everything? Um... <laughs> on all these smart home devices um possibly most likely and now they're going to be able to see what's going on inside your home as well so not only are they going to be able to hear what you're talking about they're going to see what's going on in your home they're going to see what your home looks like on the inside and i can see them starting to feed you ads for products that they can sell you because of what they see on their um their camera and they can also they also know your layout of your home um so I don't know, how much is too much? Is this a little bit concerning? Does this affect privacy? Is there privacy concerns to this? Potentially, and we're gonna talk about it. Or, we, well, we're just gonna, I'm gonna ramble about it, okay? So um, so this type of data is, data is digital gold to a company whose primary purpose is to sell you more stuff. While I'm interested in seeing how Amazon can leverage iRobot's tech to improve its smart home ambitions, many are right to be concerned with the privacy implications. People want, uh, people want home automation to work better, but they don't want to give up the intimate details of their lives for more convenience. Um, knowing your floor plan provides context and is in and is and in the smart home context is king you know i miss when a lot of these companies like roomba or irobot who make roomba just stuck to what they did best right they just made robot vacuums that did one thing <laughs> vacuum um i hate how a lot of these big data companies like facebook google amazon are buying up a lot of these small niche companies that are good at something um and then feeding all the data that they kill they, they, these devices used to collect and not do anything with and collect it and like use it to serve people ads to sell stuff um to do all sorts of weird and spooky creepy things um 
I just don't know how I feel about this. I don't think Amazon needs to. I don't think Amazon needs to buy a Roomba. They can make their own robot vacuum cleaner. In fact, I'm sure they did. I'm sure there was an Amazon Basics robot vacuum at some point. Um, but yeah, like here we go. A local uh, conundrum throughout the tech world, but in our homes, is far more personal. Amazon's history of sharing data with police departments through its subsidiary Ring, combined with its always listening for the wake word, Echo smart speakers, and now its thorough knowledge of your floor plan gives it a pretty complete picture of your daily life. So, what does this mean? You know, they're already sharing data with police. Um, if you have any illegal substances in your <laughs> in your home, is Amazon going to snitch on you? Um, you know, it's just, it's just, I don't know. I'm, I just don't like a lot of these companies snooping around and just knowing so much about your day-to-day -day life, like what you talk about, you know, it's, it's private. I'm just sick of our, our privacy being stripped away. And like, like the article says, right, we're, we're trading privacy for convenience. Is it worth it? We have to stop and ask ourselves, is it worth it? And there's some people that say like, oh, if, I just, it just sucks, dude. It just sucks. But anyways, yeah, they bought. I uh, they bought Roomba. Um, oh, hello. Um, so they bought Roomba, and as you can see, it's got a camera on the front. It uses it to detect objects in its way, so it doesn't run over them, etc., etc. Um, and it and now does that does mopping. And I'm going to show you a robot vacuum that I that I actually want to get myself because it looks really cool. Um, and I, and it isn't owned by Amazon. That's a, that's a benefit. That's a pro to it. Um, but here it is. Um, it's called the it's called the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra. Now, Roborock sell a bunch of different vacuum cleaners, but in my opinion, these are one of the best, most future-rich vacuum cleaners you can get. Um, it does mopping, it does vacuuming, it it cleans its own mop, dumps the dirty water, sucks in fresh water, it uh, it blows out all the trash into a little dustbin here, so you don't have to you don't have to open up the vacuum every other day to empty it. It does all that for you. And you just open up the lid on the little dock system here and just pull out the trash, throw it in the bin, put a new bag in it, boom, done. Um, so I do like Roborock. And it also has a couple of neat features as well. Like if I scroll down to the information page here, you can see it, does, it has a lot of really smart features. It's got LiDAR. So basically it shoots a bunch of little dots. Your iPhone has LiDAR. It uses it for facial recognition. But... It has LiDAR system, so it shoots a bunch of dots in infrared to basically make a 3D map of your home. So it's going to draw like a, a full floor plan of your home using the LiDAR system. So it knows where the walls are, doesn't bump into anything. And it also has a camera with AI, so it detects any objects like slippers that are on the floor so it doesn't run over them. Um, it does mopping, it's got carpet detection, it's got like twice the suction power of a lot of, a lot of other big vacuum cleaners um, and it also has something called a real-time video call so let's say you're away from your home um, and you want to do a little bit of snooping around your home check on what your pets are up to what your kids are up to then you can actually tune into the robot vacuum using the app um, drive it around wherever you want and then basically see what's going on in your home you could drive it around like a little toy like a little rc car and you could speak through it so it's a great thing um it's just a great thing overall really um you can set schedules, all that sort of stuff, tell it what room to vacuum. Um, and this is quite an expensive model, but they do sell cheaper Roborocks um, around the $500, $600 range without the, the mopping, like the mop. Like the reason this one's so expensive, it's like $1,300, is because it's got like a dirty, dirty water bucket. It's got a clean water bucket so it can like dump the dirty water in here suck in fresh water you know do its cleaning and um obviously suck away its trash so you don't have to do it um that's like the cream of the crop when it comes to robo rocks but there are cheaper robo rocks like this one 1100 and then you've got ones like this one 859 without the docking system well without the big fancy docking system all the the bells and whistles um so you there's a big different price there's a big price range here 699 save a hundred dollars you can get it for 599 um there's a lot of different options for robot va robot vacuums but like i said mines would have to be the robo rock and especially i'm especially not buying a roomba now because it's owned by amazon and another thing that kind of irks me a little bit is i'm more of a google home person i've never gotten to the whole alexa thing everyone loves alexa i've never been too big into it um mainly because i have a google Android phone, which I love. Check out my new case for my phone, by the way. It's awesome. Um, I have an Android phone, and I like being able to say, hey, Google, hey, Google, on my phone, without having to buy a smart microphone. Um, 
it's kind of nice and i think google's better at software so obviously inevitably you know their ai is obviously going to be more advanced especially going into the future than anything alexa or amazon could do um does this now mean that your roomba vacuum cleaner isn't going to work with google potentially that's another downside so i will be sticking with roborock anyways let me know what you think in the comments i know this is a little bit of a weird video i like i like talking tech i'm a tech addict and um i'll be posting more tech videos and if you want to see them and come join in chime in with your opinion let me know in the comments um just click the subscribe click the bell icon and like this video if you can i'm blaze 2k have a wonderful weekend i'll talk to you in the next video see you soon